What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to another episode. But before we start today's episode, I just wanted to take a minute and wish everyone a happy Easter. And I hope all of you enjoy your time with uh, your friends, family, and loved ones. Uh, whether you celebrate Easter or not, I hope all of you enjoy your weekend. Now, with that being said, I ran into a guy who actually like ran a, or excuse me, won a giveaway from One Rod One Reel Fishing when I went fishing at a or bank fishing at a public lake. So I'm gonna play a video of that. And then somewhere in the video, uh, my GoPro died. So then after that, I'm going to go to fish that were caught on the jerkbait using uh, Mega Bass Vision 110 jerkbait. And that will wrap up the video. But anyways, I hope all of you enjoy this video. I hope everyone has a happy Easter. And tomorrow, we're going to head out and go fishing try and get a good video but anyway let's get into it right about now here I sit waiting in traffic going on you guys it's Friday and I had the day off work and tomorrow and Easter Sunday so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some shore fishing at this lake that I haven't been to since last year uh, I've got a seven foot medium heavy with a spinnerbait and I have a seven foot one medium uh, right now with a hook for a Senko, but I might change that. I might change that up in a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down this bank, and fish that way until I run out of daylight. So hopefully we'll catch something. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a few casts over here, and then if I don't catch anything, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down that way. I've actually caught. Uh, quite a few bass and pike over the years back there and of course it wouldn't be a fishing video without the wind and by the way normally where I'm standing is normally the water level is like up there to the grass almost so it's still way down I'm just kind of casting this blah, blah, blah casting the spinnerbait and doing a moderate retrieve. It's usually really shallow and weedy where I'm at. And the water is really clear, which is why I have kind of a, a grayish white colored spinnerbait with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the silver willow blades. There you go. I'm gonna go to a different spot. Every year, at some point, they actually hold uh, shore fishing tournaments here. And there was a guy that caught a 26, I think they said it was a 25 or a 26 inch bass, and he would have won the shore fishing tournament. But then somebody else caught a carp and beat the guy. And trust me, that, that, would, uh, that would chat me a little bit if that happened. No. Just got here. What, do you ever fish here? And yes, for anyone that is wondering, this is the Shimano Antares DC reel. All right. I picked up the medium rod and, ow. I'm gonna take the hook off. 
And I'm gonna tie on, what am I gonna tie on? Oh, by the way, my tackle bag, it's a mess. I'm gonna tie on, I'm gonna tie on a, uh, I'm gonna tie on a, a KVD, a Strike King KVD 1.5 square bill crankbait. I'm gonna fish along these rocks and then I'm gonna work that spinner bait back there. All right, first cast with the crankbait. There we go. First cast with the square bill. Just gonna do a steady retrieve, start off. And I might go to a stop and go or a slow retrieve, depending if nothing happens. Oh, oh, a bass smacked it right there. No. A bass smacked it right there on the pause. No. Oh, <coughs> it's like he didn't commit. I watched him come up and bite it and just sit there and then he swam away. I'm at the last, the last spot that I caught a fish at uh, the last time I was here. And I think that bird, look at that bird. He's going upside down. He's eating good. Bet he's eating a fish. He's eating something. Lucky bugger. Hey dude, are you eating the fish? Or what are you doing? Um, he had a giveaway one time, and it was like out of 20,000 people, I was the second person to get called. And I, I won like a bunch of shit from it. It was fucking awesome. You won stuff f from one rod? Yeah. What, did you win baits or, or what? Yeah, did I won I told you where I got this thing from. I want them. What is it? It's this thing. Yeah. So you won. Uh, three of these. Well, three different ones. A mystery. Three mystery tackle boxes from one rod? Mm hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't have to pay for anything. Yeah. You know, one rod's a really good guy. Have you met him? No, I haven't met him, but I'm, I'm just going by what I know. <laughs> have you met him? All right, man. Well, hey, I'm going to get going. Yeah. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I will definitely. I'll follow you, and if I get, like, 20,000 followers and whatnot, then I'll, like, hit you up, and we can do a collab. <laughs> All right. No, dude, don't even worry about it. Uh, I'm going to look out for your thing. I'll uh, I'll follow you back. Hey, if you're at, uh, message me on Instagram if you're ever out here. Maybe we can get together and fish. Hell yeah. All right, dude, I'll see you. By the way, there is the guy right there that I just met. Say what's going on, you guys. What's up, guys? That's awesome. All right, dude. So he won a giveaway from Mike, or otherwise known as One Rod, One Real Fish. That's awesome. Just met this guy and started talking. Why? Because of fishing. That's why. How cool is that? Dude, really? A spinning tackle challenge? What, what, what baits are you gonna use? He's got one. He's hooked up. He's hooked up on a fish with a weightless senko. Oh, okay. We're about to get tangled. Crap. Yep, and he's got a pike. All right, I switched it up to the 316 spinner bait, uh, the Strike King, Little Mr. Money Junior. And I have a feeling this might work. There he is. That feels like a goodie. That feels like a good fish. Just kidding. Nothing special, but I'll take it. On the little spinner bait. There he is. All right, we're gonna put him back in the water. And we're gonna keep heading this way. He doesn't. What are you laughing at? What's so funny? Why? Why? Why are we a couple of dumb a-holes? Sign, signs everywhere, sign. Oh, oh, oh. 
Here we go. Awesome. Hey. Got one. You just hit me in the head. I like big fish and I cannot lie. Just can't catch one and that's just the way it is. <laughs> I hope that was recording. That was hilarious. Yes, that is the that is the Mega Bass Vision 110 on a spinning reel. Am I gonna run this Vision 110 in shallow water like a like a dumbass? Yes. I <laughs> that was awesome. He nailed it. Well, it took us long enough, but I think we found the fit. That's a goodie. Ah, it's a small bass. Whatever. Uh, on the Vision 110. It's actually the second one, and of course I wasn't recording the first one. But anyway, nice little fish. Back in he goes. Oh, there he is. That's a weed. That's a weed. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, uh, nothing huge, but still a good looking fish. And that was the third one on the Mega Bass Vision 110. A Texas rigged Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver on 10 pound test on a spinning reel. That's intelligent. Oh, on monofilament to boot. Uh, it's going to be great sensitivity, trust me. Yeah, right. I feel like it's going to break on the cast. <laughs>